So they've added a lot of stuff to this game. Apparently they've updated it um, a bunch. And uh, I do still love my PlayStation 4, but since they're updating this one a little bit more frequently, I decided to come on here and uh, pay more attention to this one. So we have a bunch of updates that we have to do and yay. Oh my gosh, check this out. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's look at what's at the market. All right, here we got Reliable Gooseberry with Roses. And I'm so far behind in this game. But you know what? This game is nicer because you can buy stuff. <laughs> let's face it, some people spend money on this game. All right, so let's collect on here and see what else we have to do. It's the fastest way of actually leveling up in this game. Wedding bells, upgrade homestead storehouse. Just complete. Okay, yada yada. Yeah, I get it. Um, no, I don't want that. Oh, what are my goals now? Sure, why not? Yes, me do do this, should I? Compete in three races. All right, these should be pretty easy, so let's go ahead and do those. And let's see who we're gonna choose. Whoops. Okay. Nobody else, really, for this race? All right, let's choose, sir. wait a minute, hold on. 800 firm. Let's see what's wrong with these guys. Mm, so Cersei's gonna have, she's gonna have a little problem with these guys. All right. It's pretty, ooh, look at this horse. Looking to see if we have any new colors here. All right, let's go ahead and select Cersei. I'm going to ride Cersei, thank you. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Really? I'm too late. Purple heat began very speedily. Seeming sandwich going with them on the inside. Purple heat on the head of affairs. Seeming sandwich in second. A length behind its shiny boulder. Battling with flattery Monday. Number seven in sixth. Going hammer and tongs with King's Hobia. Purple heat still in first place. Shiny Boulder wants the front, putting in a strong bid with number seven, then Joe Bistro. There we go. Oh, we're close to the finish. Jeez. Purple Peak at the front. Number seven getting into a good spot. Head and head with Shiny Boulder. Purple Peak in the lead. Joe Bistro wants the front, being overwhelmed by Scenic Savage. That was horrible. Oh, that was horrible. Alright, let's try this race instead. Now we have Cersei. Really? Nobody else? Darn it. I call this horse Cersei. They're both actually called Cersei. This one's actually Queen Lannister. And this one's Cersei. But when I'm mostly using this horse, I just call her Cersei for short. But this horse's name is officially Cersei. All right, so uh, let's take her out. Not like I'm gonna make a lot of money from this one anyway, but. My dog is hot. Don't worry, I'll cool down in a second. Oh my God, why is this one so hard? is off to a good start. Battle beating, taking the outside path. Shadow's voyage in the lead. God. What's this horse behind, beside me? It's a beautiful chestnut. Pushing hard in front of battle beating. A length away, it's Empress's semaphore. Sparring with Espresso Fight. Pounding down the course, it's number seven. Shadow's Voyage in second position. Stride for stride with Safe Sun. Battle beating next. Empress's semaphore. I'm glad with this one, though, the horses just run. So you don't have to hold on to the thing. That's one of the things I like about this one. Oh, look at the graphics as they're just loading as it comes into view. And then it's safe sun. A length behind, it's battle beating. 
PlayStation 4 is much better in terms of graphics, obviously, but at least they got the movement down right with this one, for the most part. Number seven in control. Shadow's Voyage in second spot, just in front of Safe Sun. Number seven continuing to show the way. Shadow's Voyage in second position, then Safe Sun. In the straight, it's number seven. Shadow's Voyage in second place. Gosh, she started her early. There's no reason she should have lost that race. That was my fault. Okay. So she got some experience, which is good. Let's take a look at the horses in the stables. All right. Pop went the weasel. So I just got this horse today. Uh, this is a stallion and the Queen Lannister, um, my top horse. She bred with Symphony subtitle to get Pop went the, re the weasel. And these are his stats right now. And he's a front runner, which is not bad. And of course, this is official Cersei, which I'm probably going to sell. Because she's not as good as Queen Lannister, really. And she's level 3. I do like her color, but um, I don't really need her um, that way. Uh, this is a middle racing horse. This is train wreck. I do like his color. I may maybe get rid of him, too. Um, and Bernie sitting, Burning City Bells. So maybe I'll sell train wreck. Yes, right now, because I want better horses. All right, and then let's see who else I'm going to sell. I'm going to breed more horses. The obstacles, level three, and middle horse. I'll sell that too. I don't really want middle horses. What was that? All right, and let's see what else we got here. Okay, burning city bells. Burning City Bells doesn't look too bad, and she does have a track surface of soft, which I do want. I do want some versatility in, um, you know, my team. And let's see. Cersei versus Queen Lannister. Mm, see, these guys are all... Both of them are... Both of them do very well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to train some horses, because I do want to get an idea of what horses I should keep and what horses I shouldn't. But I also want to breed other horses, too, so... Uh, let's see if we have anything higher up on the market available. Nothing, really. We have a stallion, but no. It's you can, you can probably breed a better horse than you can buy on here. So I'm not going to take that chance. So I am going to breed. And we got a level four with Cersei, so I'm going to continue using her. But everything looks like. See, there's no level four until I upgrade. That sucks. No, I'm not going to risk that because I want a level four. I'm level five right now. There's no reason why I shouldn't have a level four horse. Yes, I know. So I'm going to go ahead and enter another race. Usually the ones that TJ wants are the ones that you want to do. Oh, wait. I want to look at training first. And I can't level up Cersei. I can't level up Queen Lannister, I mean, but I can level up uh, official Cersei. Honestly, if you didn't have gold in this game, it would make this game so much slower. It's like one of the games that you have to be willing to put money in. Okay. Now let's get past that. I hate the way their mouths move like that when they're running. Okay, let's see what the live events are before we go to the races. Wait a minute. Oh, these are time trials? Can we do the time trials? Ooh, let's try this. Because I have one. Let's enter. Really? What is the qualification? Well, really? I don't... You can't use a one that's overqualified? That's so dumb. Oh, oh it's so dumb. Whatever. It's okay. Alright, let's just race regular. Cersei is probably going to lose this too, but we'll still try. Alright, so oh, well, let's see if we can do this. 
you know what? Actually, no. Let's start the race and let's watch her. The starter gets us underway here at Parsons Valley. Hamster Grammar is the pacemaker. Right there is Fuzzy Barracuda. Then as the race moves on, it's Hamster Grammar. Number eight in second place. Bramble Bounty pressuring just behind. Electron Control in ninth place, just in front of Peak Bottle. Hamster Grammar still in the lead. Number eight in second, just behind its fussy behavior. Electron Control in eighth position, trying to fend off useless fossil. Hamster Grammar, the leader. Number eight, looking comfortable in that position, just has a margin over Confidential Boy. Circle. Electron Control in eighth. As they straighten for home, it's Hamster Grammar. Heads up and down. Cersei is trying her hardest to get all these stupid guys. I wish they did steward inquiries here. Look at her. Look at that burst. But because those idiots were in the way. So dumb. Alright, not bad. I'm not getting rid of her anytime soon because she's the only level 4 horse I really have right now. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Train a horse to level 7 speed in everything. Really? Oh, I just did, though. Like Burning City Bells. Let's try him. Really? No, I'm not going to use off every single one of my gold. I mean, I can buy them back, but I'm not going to do that right now. Well, those are my horses so far. What's the Star Club? Oh, yeah. So, um, just collect my payouts. I want to breed a front runner black horse. I want to breed a line of them. And it would be so cool if they added to this game the ability for you to trade horses with friends or other people in the community. And that would be something I'd actually be interested in seeing because then it would give people more of a motivation incentive to um, breed better horses. Not just for the races, but if someone wants a specific horse and there's a breeder that you know sells it, then you can trade with each other. That would be freaking awesome. They need to combine like Red Dead Redemption, the online racing thing, with this game's model. Like, well, that game's horse models are actually better, to be honest. But yeah, these are my horses that I have so far. We can take a look at them again, and I'm going to look into breeding some better horses. Right now, I just have all level threes, aside from Queen Lannister. Cersei's a pretty good horse, but every everybody's versatile right now, but I do want front runners. I used to like middle runners. I didn't like front runners in Gallop Racer, but I like them here because it's not impossible for you to get to the front if you don't have a really powerful horse that just overshadows everybody else's horse on the track. So um, we'll set him as a stud and I'll see you guys later.